Hey guys, my name's Jamin. Thanks so much for visiting my channel. In this video, I'm working on a Lenovo Legion Pro 5i, the 16-inch Gen 9 version. I'm going to show you how to get inside, access your CMOS battery, if you need to replace it, or if you're trying to reset BIOS. So first thing, guys, power down the computer the correct way. Make sure it's off and unplugged from your charger. We're going to then flip it over to access the bottom case. So you have 10 screws. You got these four along the bottom half these four along the top, and these two in the middle. After removing all of those screws, you're gonna take a small, flat, preferably plastic pry tool. I say plastic because metal pry tools are definitely gonna scratch up your case a lot more than a plastic one will. So take your plastic pry tool, probably best to start up here, and pry off, go around the seam, and pry off that bottom case. Go nice and slow, but firm. Don't put the pry tool too far in. You could damage some internal components, but be nice and firm and go all the way around. And if you get stuck in one section, just leave it, go around to the other side and continue from the other direction. After you get your bottom case off, this is what we're looking at for the inside of your computer. As a quick side point, guys, whenever I'm working on a computer in my shop, I have it sitting on an anti-static mat. Either that or an anti-static bracelet are great ideas to help you avoid damaging things in your computer when you're working on it. If you guys need any help with any tools or supplies for your computer project, there'll be a link above. I'll also have it below in the description. It'll show you some tools and supplies that I use in my shop. Now, before I do anything in a computer, I always either remove or at least unplug the battery. It makes it safer to work on the other components. Now here's the battery here across the bottom of the screen. There are five screws that are holding this battery down. You got two here, two down here near the bottom, and one is actually hidden underneath this metal guard for one of your solid state drives. Um, it's, it, it's underneath there. So you've got to take off this shield for your solid state drive first. There's three screws in it, one here on the right, here down bottom left, and here up near the fan. Once you get that shield off, you'll be able to access that screw right in there. After taking the screws out of your battery, there's the battery plug right here. Some of you may see this black piece of tape on it. Just peel that back and you'll be able to wiggle that out of that port. As with most things in a computer, try not to pull on the wires if you can help it, but just manipulate that plug. So put your fingernails on either side of the plug or a pry tool maybe and wiggle that out of that port is the best way other than pulling on the wires. Okay, so now that your battery has been removed or at least unplugged, it's safer to proceed into the computer. Your CMOS battery is right over here. It's this little battery wrapped in black electrical tape. And for many of you, there'll be a piece of yellow tape holding it down. It plugs into the motherboard right here. So if you're trying to replace this part and physically remove it from the computer, this is just held on by double-sided tape. So you can pop that off really easily. And again, don't pull on the wires out of the port, uh, but try to manipulate the actual plug. Use your fingernails on either side or a pry tool to get that out. If you're here to manually reset BIOS by temporarily unplugging your CMOS battery, it's not necessary to physically remove it, just unplug it. And once you leave it unplugged for 15, 20 seconds, that should be sufficient to reset your BIOS settings. Now, one piece of note on that BIOS reset, this will only reset your BIOS system settings in most cases, and in most cases will not reset your BIOS password if that's why you're here. So that's how you would access your CMOS battery. So that's the video, guys. I hope it was helpful. If you have any questions, check out the FAQs below in the description. It could save you some time getting an answer. If you do need to leave me a question or comment, please do. I do try to get to those a couple times a day at least. To support the channel, please remember to like and share, subscribe if you enjoy this type of DIY tutorials, and for those of you that want to support the channel a little further, you can always leave a small donation, and there's a couple ways to do that. First, right below the video to the right hand side, you'll see the super thanks button. You can click on that. You can select a tip amount here. Second way, you can use your cash app. Find me at dollar sign PC helper. You can leave a dollar amount, and you can even leave a little note. So thank you so much for watching guys and I look forward to seeing you on my next video.